morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Scobie Books, and several online retailers. Today I'd like to show you how we can decoupage the Christmas balls that you find in the craft store. But I will tell you that you can even do this with, if you've got older Christmas balls that are plastic or cardboard. And I'm showing you two different finishes here. This is actually the same paper on the tree right here and the same paper on the ball. And the reason I have the lights on is because that will help you, hopefully help you determine if you would like to use either a glitter on the ball or like I did I used something called mica in the back is the same paper with no gloss on it and no glitter the first thing we're going to need is one of these plastic balls it's actually plastic with a, a layer of paper over it if you would like the finish like this with that old world mica on there you're going to need some mica and you can see how that looks quite different from glitter really pretty we'll need an assortment of brushes mainly you're going to need this type of a brush a flathead artist's brush you can see how beat up that is you're also going to need a sponge brush, one of these. I like to apply the top coat with a brush like this. You can use a spray top coat if you're more comfortable with that. This is my decoupage glue. These baby food jars come in very handy for that. This is wrapping paper with script on it. Our next ingredient, we've got to have a little tray of water. You will also want to have some matching ribbon and you'll also want some fabric glue. And the first thing you'll want to do is we're going to tear these pieces before we use them. Around this section up here we're going to need smaller pieces and you do want to tear it and not cut it. And then as we progress downward we're going to need larger pieces and then again smaller pieces so I've already torn some but I want to show you a little trick that can help you with the tearing dip the brush in water just press the water down where you're going to want to tear the paper Now we're going to take a different brush. Once you've got your papers torn, we're going to take a different brush. Sponge brush is fine. Wet that. And we're going to start to decoupage on this ball. However, here's what I suggest. Put some decoupage glue around the section where you're going to put your papers. Then take the paper dip it in the water, shake it off just a little bit and with the script facing up, sometimes it's actually hard to tell, I think this is French script so they're not, they're not even American words so sometimes I look at it and I go is that upside down or right side up? Place it up near the top and we're going to continue to do that all the way around
If you have any buckling or wrinkling down around the bottom, it probably means that your piece is too large this way, so you want to tear it to make it smaller. And I'm going to continue this. As I was working with the ball, this piece came out, and I believe this is what happened to me last night also. I forgot all about that. So what I did was I put a piece of wax paper on top of something with a hole in it so that I could place the ball upside down. This is giving me a little bit of height, so I'm using this. But you could just hold it here and continue to work right on around the ball. I am going a little too heavy on the glue, which is making it kind of goopy and drippy, and I'm going to try to lighten that up a little bit. I always have a heavy hand. So while this is a big drippy mess, it's going to take quite a while to dry. And when it's dry, I'll come back and move on to the next step. And we'll fix anything that needs to be repaired in the next step too. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Go around the ball, and you'll want to do this. You may see some spots where there's a, there are either some openings or the paper is lifted up. So just make sure you press the paper down and now is also the time if you find any blank spots like that where you can just add a little bit more any blank spots like that you can add a little bit more decoupage glue take some of the paper put it over the spot you don't have to worry too much about open spaces if you're going to be adding glitter or mica over the surface because that's going to cover up a whole lot of sins. All right, I'll be right back. We're now going to add a top coat. Now, I'm using a very, very high gloss top coat, and it's called Triple Thick. One coat is all you need. But the other thing that I like about Triple Thick, it's a very, very high gloss, but it works as a glue. And while this glue is still tacky, and wet, I am going to pour some of this mica into a bowl. Look, it, it just even looks different than glitter. Isn't that pretty? And what I'm going to do is place the ball in there with the wet tacky glue on it and I'm going to spin it around This is the dry ball, and now I'm going to take my fabric glue, my ribbon, and I am going to wrap the ribbon around. I'm going to pull this 
very tight while I'm holding the top piece. Now you don't have to add the ribbon or you can also add a little of the ribbon around this way. But what I'm going to do is make a loop up at the top here so that if I want to hang this as a Christmas ball or just as an ornament, and you can always go with a thinner ribbon, I'm going to put a loop in here so that this can be hung. And I can also very easily make a bow and this can be used in a flat tray. You can make several of these and put them in a vintage flat tray. Or you can have a bowl with just these balls inside of it and it makes a very, very pretty display. If you are not going to be using the high gloss top coat, let's say you wanted to use a flat coat or that's all you have at your house. You just have the flat coat. You can use, uh, cl the, the decoupage glue can be used as a, something to adhere the glitter, but I would still suggest that you use either a glitter glue, which you can buy in the craft store. If, if worse comes to worse and you don't have that there, you can take just white craft glue and water it down just a tiny bit and spread that over the top. You don't want to use too much of that because it can turn out looking plasticky, but you would use that and then add your glitter or your mica. Here we have the finished project. The tree there does not yet have the mica on it, but there's one of the balls with the ribbon on it because I will be hanging that one. And then the other one in the background has just got the high gloss and the mica on it. Thank you so much for subscribing and I'll be making another video next week. I'm actually working on another one right now that's just very time consuming. Don't forget my book also makes a very good gift for those crafty people on your list or some of those people that you're not quite sure what to get but you know that they they like to work with their hands. So thanks again guys. Bye-bye.